Hello, friends. Welcome into another episode of Spiritual Philosophy Chatter with the Joneses. I'm Danny Jones. And I am Samantha Jones. And this is episode 214. 214. What's our topic today? This is artificial intelligence. Mm. Yes. Has like a, you know, I don't know if it's like creepy or not. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. Like, is, you get know, mixed feelings about it. Yeah. So. Yeah, cool. uh, me too. And that's really why I wanted to talk about it. I think it's a good topic. Yep. Well, before we get into it, anything you want to talk about from last week? Yes, last week we did the truth about cemeteries, and Crystal commented this. Really love this episode so much. The only plus side to burials that I can think of at all is when bodies are exhumed and crimes are solved. Another thing that makes zero sense even is if you get embalmed and stuck in a casket, the materials all disintegrate any dang ways, any dang ways over time. I believe I also learned something along the way that caskets were created so that when floods would happen, there weren't bodies floating all over the towns that were prone to floods. Mm -hmm. I think we do not need to return to the earth. As a parent, though, it's much cheaper for a cremation. And so I want my kids to be able to do the cheapest thing with my life insurance money and have money left over. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It should be free to just bury your loved one in the ground. You should be free to just bury your loved one in the ground in the middle of the woods somewhere, in my opinion. There's actually a place, yeah. I think it's in Japan, where you can go and just put the bodies out in the woods. You've heard about this. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not really called. even buried. They're not right? buried. They they're just, just decompose. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's kind of, that's a little too much for me. Yeah, you found the what you were talking about and showed it to me about the pod mm -hmm. and the tree, and that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That part. Who was that to share that? That was Crystal. Crystal. She makes a really good point, which I got to be honest, I'm surprised I really didn't consider this, which is Yes. Um, having a body in a, in a grave, if need be to take, yeah. you know, exhume, exhume for yeah. mm -hmm. evidence, DNA, great that is point. something I wasn't considering. Me too. Great point. And that is a great point. So I was like, well, why can't we have something in our system instead of like, think about all the real estate that cemeteries take up, right? Yeah. So if there was an option of like, okay, I don't want to be buried. I want to be, um... Uh, you know, cremated or whatever, or planted as a tree, maybe there was like some sort of bank, you know, like that we could have like a tissue bank yeah, almost. right. Where so-and-so passed, mm -hmm. but a piece of their DNA is left. Right, yeah. And then in case it's, and it's recorded, it's there. Yeah. In case it, it ever needed to be tested. I would think the, ima the, the amount of real estate necessary for something like that mm -hmm is much smaller yeah. than the amount of real estate needed for all the cemeteries around the world. Yeah, I follow this guy on TikTok that is, um, he does the autopsies. I can't remember what that's, he just helps the mortician with the right. autopsies or whatever they call the, the medical examiner. <clears throat> and there was one lady that asked, because he answers people's questions. She said her husband had shot himself in the head and they did an, an autopsy of just his head. And she said, why did they do that? And he said, well, we can't bury somebody in the ground with a bullet in their head. It's not safe. But also because should the family ever come back and say um, that they want, that they don't believe this was suicide, that they believe it was murder, uh. then they have that bullet there and they have that evidence from it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely mm. things that they are doing that they weren't doing before to make sure that these kinds of crimes, you know, if they need to be solved yeah. later down the road, that they are there. But yeah, they, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, because once it's cremated, mm -hmm. I guess it's all gone. It's so gone. You're that's right. it. There's, yeah. I mean, unless even some of the ash was saved, but can you pull DNA out of ash? I, nah, I don't know. I can't imagine. I, I, I mean, maybe. Think, no. I'm, maybe there's, there's bone. I mean, there's bone hmm. fragments in there, but I don't know how much hmm. you need. Yeah, I don't either. I was that's just thinking, wow, you know, it's such a good point to have that there as a backup. But if there was some sort of, and maybe this is already occurring somewhere in the world, something like I was saying, like a tissue bank where that is stored and then the rest of you can be. Right put back to mother earth or yes. whatever yeah for sure so thank you for that crystal we Thanks, appreciate crystal. the comment 
So every week we answer two questions, but you know what? We're going to do something a little bit different this week. Oh my God. Because it's been an interesting news week. Yeah. Not that we watch the news because we don't, but there has been some things that you have not been able to avoid no matter no, what yeah. you do. And one of those things is the Ocean Gate Titanic submarine that imploded. Yeah. I have found this to be a very interesting thing that has Ooh. happened here, and I wanted to talk about it, and I wanted to see what other people <clears throat> felt about it, too. So I think if unless you're living under a rock, you know what happened, but for you know history's sake, mm-hmm. if we listen back to this, um, there's the man-made sub that went down to the Titanic with five men in it. It imploded. That's right. the short of it, right? So... This brought out a side of people that was very interesting. It was Mm. basically an eat the rich mentality of these were probably billionaires in this this submarine. They paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars each to be in this submarine. And it exploded on social media with memes and videos on TikTok and all of that. And you know what? At first, I'm going to be honest, I partook in this. Not as an eat the rich mentality at all, because the things that I was kind of laughing at were not about there's people that have died in there, but more about the things like it was a a PlayStation remote control that was steering it, you know, things like that. But well, it pretty much was. Yeah, well, exactly. It it was. It was like a Logitech little remote here. It's kind of scary. It is scary. And the thing is, is that. When you look at all the evidence of of this, this was bound to happen. Mm-hmm. It was bound to happen. It, it was. Just... They're saying that this was a maiden voyage, so I'm assuming this was a new one, because this man, this gentleman, the owner of Ocean Gate, owns several of these, like five of these. Um, he does not own. There's only five in the world, is what I understand. I don't know how many he owns. I don't. I have not seen anything that this was a maiden voyage. That's what I read and heard that it was a maiden I voyage. Didn't so I assumed hear it was see like that a new anywhere. One. Okay, never mind. So I don't know. That could be true, but I okay. don't know. I do know that there were many people that have gone down in one of right. these things. It might not have been the Titan per se, but in many of these that this guy has had, and they have done okay. Some of them have come had to come back up to the surface or whatever. Mm-hmm. One of the things that was really frustrating about this from a psychic standpoint is that I really knew what had happened from the beginning, and mm-hmm. this made me understand just how messed up the news is because they knew. They knew exactly what happened that day. That's my belief. That's my intuition of well, this. Well, I feel like now that the information that's come out... Mm-hmm. Since we've, they've determined that they're dead, yeah, um, does say that mm-hmm. because if the navy yeah. heard the bang, yeah, when the bang happened, couldn't they have spoken up and said, "Oh yeah, by the way, we heard the bang," instead of waiting four days? I think later. they did. I think they did speak up. I think that's a wow. part why, of the whole thing. Why does it take so long to get to us? You know. There you go. Yeah. That's my point. Is that the news strings you along? It yeah. covers up other things True. with these. These things that it's like, okay, we have the American people's attention, so let's take it. But I truly right. believe that that the Navy did tell whoever they needed to tell that there was the explosion. They knew that this thing had imploded. But they have the, the – it's not just the American people. It's the world thinking that these people could possibly be sitting because in there. Because of the dinking. Stuff, the, yes. the, they said they heard clanging. Yeah. Which, you know, where did that come from? It maybe it was a false report or whatever. Right. I don't know. Right. But it, the the way that I saw it happening was them going down. They're down, 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 and they're they're fine. You know, they realize they're almost getting to the t- Titanic, and it's done. It's done. There's no there's no one second that they even realize that they're gonna die. There's right. nothing. I knew they weren't stuck in there having issues. You know, breathing right. or whatever. But there were a lot of people that were still making fun of this and people mm. in there, you know, dying. And it, it was very, very interesting, the, the sides to people that yeah. it brought out, you know. I guess I always, like, flash to a moment if I were in there myself and sort of flashing to that moment. I realize it's, you know, but a millisecond. Right. But the minute you hear a noise or something and you just, like, realize everything is changing Mm-hmm. And then you're on the other side. Right. But I still sit in that moment mm-hmm. of the crumble, you know, even though it's a millisecond. They didn't even know. And I think, God, I feel so bad for him. I just can't. Yeah. I can't go out there on social media. I don't care how much money they had and rip on them. Yeah. You know, they were just looking for an experience. They weren't signing up. They did sign a piece of paper that knew 
that said, yeah, obviously I know the dangers involved and right. I'm, I'm risking my life here. Um, but I don't think you really wrap your head around that. You know what? I will agree with you, except for the owner of yeah. this thing. And, I, and I, I should have had his name, but I don't. Because I've seen many, many videos now of like James Cameron mm -hmm. and, and other people <sighs> saying he was told not to use carbon fiber and titanium, that the carbon fiber would crumble yeah. or rip or whatever it was that they said it was going to do. My sister said that she saw that and it was true because she sent me the article that um, they were actually sued. Ocean Gate was sued because there were cracks. The guy came out and he was talking about an employee came out and talking about that there were cracks in right. there and stuff. And um, he was fired. Right. And so he took them to court. So there has been a long line of issues well, with I mean, this. The fact it hasn't happened sooner is surprising. Yeah, there's a lot of TikToks about videos of people coming forward now that either were had taken rides in these mm -hmm. things or haven't. So that's where I wonder... This guy has a fleet of these. I think he has more than one. I, I'm not and, sure. And I think the maiden voyage might be true in this case. I think this particular one may the have Titan. been it's very possible. a new one. Mm -hmm. um, but he knew that these things were only like the front windows, the part that was sealed in, that those were only basically able to go 1,300 feet under. Right. But Titanic's 3,700 feet under. So... He knew that those those front ends were compromised. Oh yeah. So he was a thrill sure. seeker. Yes. He and he was looking for money. Yes. I, I don't think he was he was looking for money. Let's there's no doubt about that. Yes. And he got people to do it. What I find interesting is that he had two other gentlemen that were a father and a son, I believe, yes. that were on board to go on this particular mission and they backed out, yeah. right? And he lowered the price. He lowered the price by mm. half. Mm -hmm. So he offered them $150,000 each instead of $250,000 each, right? Mm. They still say no. Yeah. Because they, they're they like, nah, something's just not right about mm -hmm. this. The other two gentlemen, the father and a son, again, yeah. which the son was like 19, didn't really want to go. Yeah. He was just doing it for Father's Day. Those guys paid full price. So yeah. you see the shade. That's the part that seems shady to me is right. like... You're going up and down like this in price? Right. I mean, I guess for him, you know, $150,000 is better than no $100,000. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And But he was saying things to these people like, this is just as safe as riding in a helicopter. Or it's more dangerous to ride in a helicopter than it is in here. Are you crazy? Like, I've seen so many videos where, like, he's being honest about what you're going into. Mm -hmm. That there's, you know, this amount of pressure or whatever. Mm -hmm. But also other ones saying, this is as safe as crossing the street. And it's like, dude, it's not. Mm -hmm. Like, telling people that they're being wussies because they don't want to go in this thing. And yeah. it's like, dude, their intuition told them that this yeah. was not a good thing. I want to read a few of the comments that our listeners made on this. Paul said, this is a very sad event. It seems a very inappropriate device to be going down such depths. Was the news story expanded over days needlessly? Seems evidence that the marine the submarine imploded earlier after missing with after missing with listening devices. Right. My conspiracy mind thinks the media used this to hide other news stories as it dominated everything. Mainstream media should be taken with a huge pinch of salt. Yes, absolutely. This was not fake news. This was not um, a conspiracy like in the way of they're time travelers or something like that. But did the news use this in a way that benefited them? Oh, yeah, it did. And that's why I don't yeah, watch yeah. the news, really. Submarines are just scary devices. Yeah. Um, we can go back to even the, uh, I believe it's World War II, if not earlier, maybe one, where there were the, the single man submarines that were real dangerous and a lot of the guys died in them. Mm. They were little tiny, like, I can't, I've read about them, but yeah, I can't remember. Uh -huh. Not U-boats, uh -huh. but these were different in the sense that they were single one-man submarines. Interesting. That were super dangerous. Yeah. Oh, but interesting. For the sake of war, you're going to do it. And I guess in, for this in this situation, it was for the sake of the almighty dollar. Yeah. Speaking of of those one uh, person submarines, because that I believe is what James Cameron has. Uh, 
the Simpsons actually predicted this, yeah. but they predicted it with those one person submarines and it's Homer and somebody else I can't remember who it was going down and Homer gets stuck in the Titanic. It doesn't implode, but he gets stuck, yeah. you know? So it's like, Hmm, I, I don't know what's going on over there. Either they have a psychic on staff that knows that he's a psychic, a writer, or they're just coming up with these things and going, yeah. how do we keep getting this right? And that's, there was know. another testimony from a gentleman that, that used that wrote in ocean gate, that got all the way down there and said they got stuck behind the propeller yes. of the Titanic. Yep. yep. And then finally, somehow they got loose. And yep. he said the 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 captain could barely speak English. I think yeah. he was like heavily Russian accent. Oh, yeah. I saw remember? that and video too. Yeah. He uh-huh. said everything okay. And yeah. He said, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'd be like, not okay. No. <laughs> Let me read him a couple more of these before we move on. Ray said, I'm shocked by the negligence, the cutting of corners. The whole thing was so senseless and avoidable. I find it interesting. One person backed out and the teenager on board didn't want to go. Intuition, anyone? Yeah. yeah. The father and son that backed out. And you know what? I saw a lot of videos of people that have backed out, not just from this one, but other ones mm, yeah. in the past. Because they they probably just knew this is not a good idea. Like all IMAX, can I sit in an IMAX theater and watch it, or put virtual reality glasses on and do it that way? But I'm not going down the yeah. ocean in the no. I can see it just fine. Tin can submarine. I could actually see it better on TV <clears throat> than I could see it there. Yeah, Nancy said from a human perspective, it was irresponsible and horrible to think what they were going through. Well, it happened really fast, so they they weren't really going through anything. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's before yeah. you could even think. <clears throat> yeah, your brain doesn't have time to process right. a millisecond. Uh, from a spiritual perspective, it was quick and painless, so I guess if you do go out on a spiritual high, it would be a good way to go. I, I th- imagine that, absolutely, that they're like, you know, going, going on almost to the Titanic, and next thing you know, they're on the other side, and they're like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? Oh. Literally. Oh, I know you. You died right. 20 years ago. Oh, wait. Like you heard one sound. You heard one sound, and you're in heaven. Yeah. Weird, huh? I want to talk to some of those people. Like, you didn't even have time to react. Uh, one of the, somebody on TikTok shared a video, because I was like, well, so... What exactly happens? I don't want to be like yeah. morbid, but yeah. what exactly happens in this situation? Yeah, we've watched it. Um, it's like a tin can basically being crumbled up in the palm of somebody's hand, but there's no hand. Yeah, and it's immediate. <laughs> yeah, and they the interesting part that I found was because of the amount of pressure that when as soon as it breaks, that that pressure creates a heat blast. Which is amazing because you're almost in freezing temperatures. Yeah, I know. And the amount of pressure creates a heat heat blast. Yeah. That cooks them. Yeah. Really quickly. Yep. And then the pressure itself turns that into like a gel. Yeah. So they're as the thing is crushing, they're just pretty much squishing out the sides yeah. like water. Yeah. Sad, but at least it was instant. But all that is instant. Yeah. Like how fast something could happen like that. That's pressure. That's gnarly. Yeah. They're saying like, what was it? 6,000 pounds of pressure. Per square inch per of square body. Inch. So it was like so over, mil- it was millions of. All around yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From all air, you know, because you're in water. So yeah. that's like, whoa. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah. Because they said, I think it was for standing up here on the earth on the top. It's about one pound of pressure. I don't know. I but he said tell you. there was one compared to 400 or something. It was down a there. very crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The, I was like, whoa. Yep. Yeah. I want to read one more and then we'll we'll move on. Um, Catherine said, I was a little annoyed how the creators on TikTok reacted to this situation. I feel like a lot of them made videos for views. I just kept mm-hmm. scrolling to each their own. Everyone has a voice and an opinion. I just ignored it and didn't feed into the negativity. Something that we have to remember is that a lot of times when there is a tragedy, we try to find humor in it to comfort ourselves. Yeah. So if you did find humor in some of this and it's not, you know, that right. mean eat the rich mentality, right. you're there's nothing wrong. Just that's normal. Yeah. Like you have to find it somewhere. I think even with you, like I had to go talk to you because it really trips you out 
Why? Like th- it's like four human beings I've never met. Right. Don't know. I have no interest in going in a submarine. I have right. no interest in going and looking at the Titanic. Yeah. Um. But I'm drawn to it like everybody else. Yeah, sure. It, we have this tendency of like it's a train wreck and I can't look away. Yep. But I had to like go to you and talk to you and go, you know, this isn't real. Like all this isn't real. Yeah. It's just... It's a simulation. It's part of the simulation. So yeah. we think this is real and this is like really all happening. Yeah. But it's not. Mm-hmm. No. So I have to like talk myself back down like, mm-hmm. who? Because that gets heavy yeah. when you start thinking about catastrophes and right. stuff like that that happen in the world. And yeah. I just realized, yeah, it's not real. It's sad for the families. Yes. And But as soon as those gentlemen blinked or whatever happened and they were on the other side. Yeah. They're privy to all of what I'm saying as they understand that, okay, yeah, I had to leave everybody behind. But from that instant on, they're not regretful at all. Right. That they took that mission and that they're in heaven because they realize it's not real. They did it for that purpose. And that's exactly what they came here to do. And you know what? That's where mine. Yeah. Because I work with death every day, that's where my mind goes. My mm. mind doesn't go to, oh, poor those poor guys that were in there. I go to the families that mm-hmm. are suffering from the loss. But also the fact that they're now on the other side, seeing things from a different angle and probably going, well, that was fun, but, you know, right. we'll try something else in the next life. It's kind of like video game over. Yeah. So sometimes I forget that not everybody looks at death that way. You know, <laughs> it's not that it's not sad, but it's sad for the people here, not for the ones that have moved exactly. on, is my opinion. So. All right, we could talk about this all day, but we, we should move on. All right, so, then. all right. Well, I have a reading, so we'll do it real quick, okay? And then we'll move on. It's just a doggy here. We'll talk to you for a second. Oh yeah. Uh, from Patricia, she said, uh, "This is Chloe. She passed two years ago. For two months now, I've been calling one of my other dogs Chloe. I try and catch myself, but it happens anyways. Is it because Chloe is around us? Thank you." And she looks like a combination of our two black dogs. Yeah, we have a lab like a and a great Dane. And yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? That's a... Yeah, it's too cute. Um, gray face and same kind of graying that, that Betty has. So, All right, let's talk to Chloe. So Chloe is around, yes. Um, what you are seeing here... What Okay, so what she's telling me is that she is showing herself through the other dog, but this is more about the fact of she's coming to you um, and trying to get herself through to you to tell you that down the road, not too far in the future, and (laughs) I know Patricia very well, okay? She's a good client of mine, and, and I've known her since almost the beginning of my spiritual journey, and I've been trying to convince her to move and to not get more animals. And now Chloe's telling me that she wants to reincarnate. So I'm sitting here going, come on, Chloe, don't say that. Don't say that. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you're going to have to say it. So Chloe wants to reincarnate, but here's the thing is she wants to do it after you move. So, so make sure that the move goes through first when you, after the move. So this could be next month. This could be next year. It just depends on how quickly you plan to move on moving. Um, But after you do and after you're settled, she will come back to you as another large breed black dog is what I'm feeling. I Can I just say something? Yes, absolutely. I heard Dalmatian. Okay. But I don't know if that's true. We will. We shall see. Okay. That would be interesting. Um, But yeah, so that's one of the reasons that all of a sudden this is happening is because she's trying to get your attention that this is what she would like to do. And I feel like she knew that you would come to me to try and find out. She's encouraging you to move. She's encouraging you to take control of your life um, so that you can have the things that you would like to have, which also includes having her back. So, yeah. So there you go. Cool. Yeah. She's pretty. Yes, she is pretty, isn't she? I I like the older dogs. They're so pretty with their gray. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. So I hope that helps, Patricia, and you'll have to keep us informed of what happens. Yes, please. All right. Thanks, Patricia. Thank you. And then before we start, let's give our info. Go for it. So you can find me at samanthajonespsychicmedium.com. I have a radio show called Beyond the Bridge that airs every Wednesday morning on voiceamerica.com on the Empowerment Channel at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can find links for that on my website and our social media for this show as well on the website. Cool. And you, sir. 
for my art, djonesartcollection.com for the web, at djonesartcollection for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And that's it for me. Yay. All right, then, episode 214, Artificial Intelligence. Artificial Intelligence. This is something that has been grabbing my attention a lot lately, mm-hmm. and I've mentioned it to you a few times, and finally I thought, you know what, we should just talk about it. We should talk about everything that's going on with the artificial intelligence, what it is, what it includes, and where it's going. Like, where's it going from here? That's one of my big questions, because yeah. have we not seen the Terminator? Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but... I'll be back. Yeah. I'm a little bit concerned about where this is going if we continue to, you know, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> oh, it just caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, though. Like, I see these robots that can have full conversations with people and act so human. And there's mm-hmm. so many different things that are happening in the world of artificial intelligence. When I was offered that television show a few weeks ago... This guy went through this whole spiel about artificial intelligence and how they use it to find the lit, the viewers for the show. And he went on and on and on about this for like 10 minutes. And I was sitting there listening, going, holy crap, this thing, this artificial intelligence has a lot of control. Yeah. And it can find a lot of things really, really fast. Mm-hmm. So where is it going from here? You know, um, well, first of all. <clears throat> all of our lives are impacted by artificial intelligence, whether we realize it or not. And I think there's a lot of us that actually didn't know how much it was impacting our lives. Yeah, this has brought a lot more to my attention than I was really even considering. For our listeners, too, because yeah. I, I put up polls, and that's what we'll go over some of that. I put up polls about questions like, what's your um, favorite you know, AI application? And most people were like, I didn't even know social media was artificial intelligence. Right. And it is. So, so we'll go over... Some some of that and then talk about um, listeners put their input. But uh, whether you're using your smartphone or you're buying products online or you're using navigation in your car or you're on social media, listening to music or watching streaming services, these are all artificial intelligence and choices that you're making that involve artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> some of the things, some of the other things, let's go in, into depth a little bit about what currently AI involves. And there's different classes of AI. And I I didn't do this episode to be a teacher, and that's not what I want to do. I want to talk about the AI. So we're just going to go over briefly some of what is included in the AI. Uh, The self-driving cars, this is, they navigate themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, they they do reverse. They do all these things by themselves. That's artificial intelligence. Social media. If you're using social media, most of your decisions are being impacted by artificial intelligence. It mm-hmm. does this through complex algorithms. And you can't tell me that you haven't noticed the algorithms. Mm-hmm. Um, this looks at your past behaviors, your web searches, your interactions, your video watches. Yeah. It looks at everything that you do. You have no privacy at all on social media. No. Medical imaging as well. And this is one of the areas where I I like that it's, you know, we have this artificial Mm -hmm. intelligence because it helps to do these scans and the x-rays and then it can detect and diagnose diseases without the doctor even looking at them first. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, Fraud detection. Banks are using uh, artificial intelligence to detect fraudulent activities such as credit card fraud or money laundering. So if you ever, it happened to me the other day um, where I went to use one of my cards And it texted me right away, did you mean to make this purchase? That's artificial intelligence Mm -hmm. picking up on the fact that I don't really use this card a lot and going, oh, you haven't used this in a while. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? Or your face ID on your phone? Yes, that is another one. That's artificial intelligence. It is. Recommendation engines like Netflix, Amazon, Mm -hmm. and YouTube all use artificial intelligence to make recommendations for what we might like to watch, Mm -hmm. read, and listen based on our past behaviors. Mm -hmm. So again, it's watching you. Virtual assistants, Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant are all powered by AI. Mm -hmm. These virtual assistants use natural language processing to understand what we say and respond accordingly. AI is also being used in banking, healthcare to power chatbots. Chatbots are cool. Have you ever had this where like you're you're doing something, maybe you're paying a bill 
or whatever. And, it's and somebody a, comes up and says, can I help you? And it, yeah. Right. And it's a chat bot. It's not an actual person. Right. It's that's artificial intelligence. Um, translation apps. Like you've talked about wanting to go into the nail salons and using a translation <laughs> app. That's artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we started talking about this, you and I more this week, mm. I started thinking, I'm writing a book. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I could use AI to help me write a book. And I downloaded one of these apps, and it was very interesting. Yeah. I took pieces of what I had already written <laughs> and put it in the app and let it show me a better version of what I wrote. And it was kind of wild. Mm-hmm. Like, some of the suggestions were cool, but otherwise it was like, no, this is a little bit much. Pretty like, extravagant. It was pretty extravagant, yeah. yeah. And then... Um, and so come forth hither. <laughs> and then one of our friends, Gabe told us about another app that he used to like he's been testing it asking it to like write scripts and write song lyrics and do all this stuff and he sent me the proof of it so i went and downloaded this app and i put in there in a few different ways write me a 30 minute podcast that's about artificial intelligence and i worded that several different ways i worded it as spiritual podcast i worded it as fun and upbeat and it changes it a little bit and it gives you some different ideas of things so this is very very interesting (laughs) stuff that that we're doing um but at the same time, it's very scary. Mm-hmm. I can't remember where we saw it, but I, I think we saw this together. It was I want to say it was either Elon Musk or Neil deGrasse that was talking about when we get to the point where technology catches up with actually what's going on right now, that that's when the human experience ends and it starts over. So like Alanis, you know, did this end because they caught up to technology? So for example... Right now, you can use virtual reality, right? And you see the virtual reality. You might even, you'll hear it because it's there. Some of those things might even have smells, but you can't touch it. You can't taste it. It's not a real, complete real experience. But one day, they might have that completely real experience where you put that on and it's like being transformed to what we're feeling right now. And when that happens, according to whoever said this, I can't remember, that's when the end of civilization as we know it happens according it would to make sense you because know. You're, you've caught up with technology you have right. to start I mean, over kind of what at least what um dolores has been able to get information on that that i've read that like atlantis uh the city atlantis and whatever happened with that was basically kind of what you're saying in a way like we were now able to to we got people at this point got into cloning yeah and then being able to take different genetics from different beings yes. and they were making basically slaves right and but these slaves sometimes could not be so nice mm-hmm. and i think would either hurt others or hurt the person that created them or it was just the whole process and and the power was being abused right to a point where yeah, I think that technology had gotten to a point where we just, well, let's make this and yeah. see what this does without any kind of... Yeah, moral thought or anything. Yeah, like a warning or mm-hmm. heeding any warning, like of this might not be a good idea. I think cloning period isn't what, it's not natural, it's not supposed to be that way. I think we should yeah, just leave it alone. I, that's another one. That, no. yeah. So I, I asked our listeners what their thoughts on artificial intelligence are, and here's some of the comments that we had. Crystal said, I'm both concerned and excited. I see what's happening with self-checkout at my local grocery stores and layoffs. I worry about jobs. I've seen in other countries that they are working on robotic baristas. Yeah, they even have them in Vegas. They already have, um, yeah, yeah, like margarita dispenser things that's Mm -hmm. robotic. Robots will take over a lot of jobs. They can work longer hours for no pay, no need for benefits, except the initial investment and upkeep at the expense of the owner. Right. On the flip side, medical advances excite me. AI has a ton of information about all of us. I've already heard Siri and Hey Google correcting my kids when they're trying to look up mean things or ask rude questions. Wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that it did that. Um, Is it too far-fetched to think AI will try to correct the wrongs in our society in the future? I don't think it is. And that's a bit scary. What Mm -hmm. AI thinks is wrong and right might not be what we think is wrong and right. Plus, we're already lazy in the West. We love convenience and right now satisfaction. Mm -hmm. It's going to get worse. Yeah. Yep. I asked that app 
if it believed in psychics. And it told me that it did not have the capability to have beliefs because it's not human. So it broke it down for me in what some people might think and what the others might think, both sides of if psychics are real or not. And I thought that was pretty cool. Mm. There was a video that we saw a while ago of a robot that was doing this repetitive behavior at some kind of expo. I can't Mm. remember what it was. And all of a sudden it shuts down. Now, there's several conflicting things that people are saying. Now, did it shut down and fall down? Yes. Okay, right. Um, there's on one hand where people are saying this robot committed suicide right. because it felt like doing the same behavior over and over with slavery. Right. However, this is a robot. It does not think like a human. It does not think my life is going to suck if I continue to do this behavior over and over again. So did it really commit suicide? How do they know that? You know, is there something in the computer chip that they can look back and and it, it, you know, shows this robot, you know, thought this life was going to be too tough. And so it opted out. To me, at that point, that's saying that this robot has emotion. Yes. Because to me, nobody in this planet that's ever considered... Um, taking their own life or that has does not have lack of emotion. Yeah. If I'm saying that right. Right. So meaning everybody that's ever thought of it or tried it has emotion. Yeah. So that means that robot is considering his emotions. Right. It's emotion, excuse me. Yep. That's a strange concept. How do you program, right. you know, write code for emotion? You don't. And a robot doesn't have emotion. And that's the thing. Is that, And that's what it was saying. Like when I asked about if, if it believes in psychics, it can't have those feelings because it's a machine. Yeah. So I don't know. Like up until this point when I started doing this research, I was like, oh, a robot committed suicide. That's interesting. But now I'm like, where's the proof? How And how do they even prove that? Right here. The, stat, the, right. the statistics and the data shows that um, Mr. Robot was very unhappy with his position. <laughs> And he see that there was no chance for promotion or a raise in <laughs> right. any time in the near future. So he figured, screw it. I'm going to end it all. How the hell do you prove it's that? true. You can't. You can't prove that. And How that's do we not know what robots are for. It just didn't malfunction. Most likely that's what happened. And break. Or its battery went dead. Or... Um, but going back to Terminator, um, and we've talked about this before, There, there's this uncanny thing going on in our world, in our this. 3D thing we're living in that movies and television share things that we appear we think appear to be fantasy Mm -hmm. and as time is going on these are becoming true yes all right it's no longer fantasy yeah sci-fi is but people coming Mm -hmm. from other points of simultaneous time which Mm. would start to explain coming from the future or the past or whatever, to try to change the course of something right. that's going to go on. Uh-huh. So whatever is going to happen with AI has already happened. Yeah, yeah. In it's happening, time. And, yeah, right. and it will happen. Right. So we're on every... It's just like standing on a merry-go-round, and you just take however many steps forward or backwards as you wish, yeah. and that's the closest you're going to be to that point in time. Right, But. Yeah. It's a very bizarre thought. It is. It really is. Yeah. It trips me out. Even um, some of one of the things that you were kind of listing uh, where AI exists is even some household amenities. Our bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a, a sleep, fun one. Uh, we have a sleep number bed. <laughs> and it we get reports on our heart rate, on our rest time, yeah. our awake time, our um, breathing. Yeah. All of it. I don't buy most of it, though. I mean, I don't know how accurate it is, I know. but a lot of it makes me, are you serious? You're a bed and you're telling me how good a sleep I got because there was one night <laughs> that I was in the bed for like three hours and it told me you had the best night's sleep you've had in weeks. And I'm like, I slept three hours. Cause you were out the whole three hours. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> like what kind of crap is that? You sleep eight hours in the bed and it's not as good because you're up and, you know, down going right. to the bathroom and then you have three hours of completely <laughs> restful sleep and it says that's the best night's sleep you've had. I have a client too that um, she takes care of an infant overnight. She's like an overnight nanny and they use this thing on the baby that it's it's attached to the uh, the baby monitor. It's a heart rate monitor and she has messaged me probably... 
four times in the last two months telling me that the machine has said that the baby stopped breathing and she's been totally terrified <sighs> that terrifying. this baby's going to die. And I'm like, this is a machine that is working off of like a new type of technology. There's even one of these monitors that w- there was a lawsuit because it was doing this and it was causing people to panic and stuff. So we don't have a lot of this perfected yet. So we have to right. be careful, you yeah. know, for, yeah, for sure. Cause we don't know. And I don't listen to the bed. I don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't buy it. When my sister and her husband stayed here, that was awesome because we both got notifications on our phone that, that you would have the best night's sleep you've ever had with this bed. And I'm like, yeah. that's because there's two people sleeping in it that aren't us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's technology true, yeah. is awesome. Yeah, you get a text message from your bed telling you, you know. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I wanted to talk too about real quick about Crystal had mentioned grocery stores and self checkout. Yeah. I like this and that's because I'm an introvert, but I absolutely see it from other people's standpoint of that this is a job issue. However, I also see it from the universe's standpoint that nobody needs to work their whole life working as a cashier or working in that type of environment. They want us to follow our passions. So I feel like this might force more people to follow their passions. That's a really Mm -hmm. good point. Yeah, exactly. Not a lot of people see it like that, but that's the way the universe sees it. So, and then Jessica said, AI is awesome, fascinating, creepy, and a little scary all at the same time. I agree. Amazing how it has trickled into all facets of our lives. Yeah. I am very thankful that I grew up in the 80s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s, where we didn't have all of this. See, but we chose to come here at this time. No, you're right. Yeah. This particular time, because we were on the cusp of... The end of that. Yeah. The the dying out of that era. Yeah. And the introduction of the digital era. Yes. So we get a little bit of both worlds. Yes. You know, so it's, it's trying to explain to Marina's children mm-hmm. what it was like, you know. To dial a rotary phone. To dial a rotary phone. <laughs> Use to a have cassette a, tape. To, had a, to have a beta VCR. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was... I we had it when they first came out and beta was the shiz. Yeah. Okay. I remember then they Atari. dropped off the radar real quick. Yeah, that one didn't <laughs> last long, did it? No, beta did not last <laughs> no. long. But they were the first one and they were very expensive when they first came out. Yeah. But yeah, like trying to explain those things to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, tubed televisions with yes. rounded screens and now you have a smart TV that yeah. We won't even be able to explain to them motor cars at that yeah. point probably. Yeah, crazy, huh? You know, like you don't see those very often. Yeah. Why is that car so loud? But, uh, that's that thing's a gas motor. What's yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's on the what's yeah, gas? The plan for sure. Yeah. Sunshine said, "I fear it's going to be like Wally, and we'll all get lazy." Yeah. I also wonder if there are new if there are a new species and will one day be sentient. Well, let's hope not because then that's when they take over when they start having feelings. Yeah. I just started playing with the Snapchat AI. The way it is so positive and supportive throws me off. It's like you always have great style. I didn't even know that the, it did. I don't have Snapchat. So, <laughs> and I'm like, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> I'm the worst at fashion, so it's just saying that. But I also worry it will become sentient and we will abuse it. I cannot help to anthropomorphize. Did I say that right? The thing. <laughs> um, I loved Wally, by the way. I don't know why. Yeah, that was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> but uh, she makes a very good point about that. Yeah, I had a, a point. Because that movie has a very lonely feeling. Oh, Gabe was mm-hmm. saying that in these AI text things where, you know, it helps you to, like, you mm-hmm. know, write your book or whatever. He says he's learned that if you flatter it, it helps you more. <laughs> yeah. He said, I've tried. He's, like, trying all these different things to see what works with it. And he said, if you flatter it, it, hel- it helps you more. Gabe, you're like a mad scientist. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Okay, and then Nicole said, if AI can help with doing jobs that will allow us to have more time with our families, time to relax or less stress, and time to imagine wonders, that may do us some good. Most people are too busy with multiple jobs just to pay to live. If AI can help where bills aren't so high, then we don't have to make a large income anymore, Mm -hmm. which means maybe a part-time job or local volunteering will be enough and and also rewarding for our soul. Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. Now knowing humans, Americans, for example, we love making lots of money. 
will we use that freed upon time to relax for our health or work more to make more money? That's a great question. Why do we feel we need more money? Money helps us to feel secured. Why do we feel the need to be for security, to feel safe? Why don't we feel safe? Boom, childhood traumas. We all need therapy. <laughs> I hope AI can be used for our mental health, whether that's having a rosy cleaning robot in the house or an AI therapy program to overcome traumas, maybe a self-drivable car so mm. our kids can get to school safely. That's what I hope for. I don't think this is going to affect everybody the same way. No, definitely think, not, no. I think it's like COVID. Yeah. Um, I believe that COVID definitely in our history... Oh, I don't think COVID needed to happen, but I think for our history, it was supposed to happen. Yeah. And there's a couple different reasons why that happened. But the one that I'm thinking of the most is it was supposed to make people think, rethink their life. Yeah. Yep. First of all, think about the things that really mattered yep. and the things that they really want to do. Yep. Yep. Both career and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for pleasure. Yeah. So Absolutely. I asked our listeners a couple of other questions. I asked, which of these bother you about AI? Uh, the, the first one that they said was jobs being replaced by machines. Yeah. And I can understand that. But again, if we can look at it a little bit differently, that this will force people to get jobs right. that they might actually enjoy more. Um, I think on some level, too, that that, that could create um, a lot of cleanliness and mm-hmm. sterilization sterilization yeah excuse me um especially like in food service where you don't have you know hey joe came into work with a cold mm-hmm. today and he's been wrapping burritos back there for the last six and a half hours <laughs> and who's gonna now turn up with this cold yep. in 10 to 14 days the called the burrito cold we'll call it <laughs> burrito you know what mode. i mean cold. so all of a sudden you have a sterile machine yeah that doesn't transfer bacteria like that, like humans. Yeah. I could see there being something, you know, yep. beneficial there. And also to the fact of like, who needs to wrap burritos for eight hours? Exactly. Go make something. Exactly. Be creative. Go write something. Go yep. read something. Go paint something. Yep. Go build something. Yep, exactly. Go help someone, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of other things that we can be doing that we can allow these machines to do that. We went to Vegas recently and there was a robot security guy like it was a yeah, it was a R2 robot. D2 in yeah. the parking lot. Yeah, right? Yeah. And he's just roaming around the parking lot looking for hoodlums, you know, and there's some guy probably sitting in an office, you know, watching the screens. Yeah. Uh, they should have had a fake holster on him with like <laughs> a fireman laser. Yeah. Pew, pew pew. That was pretty interesting. I I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the There's a lot of things in Vegas that yeah. are AI technology like that that <laughs> whoa, the future is now. That's what we should have called this I, uh, episode. The future is now and it was funny because i i think i was puffing on a little thc pen in the parking lot <laughs> yeah yep and i see that thing with my rear view mirror yep. I'm like here it comes i'm like what is this thing is gonna arrest us <laughs> take us to the hotel jail for yeah, smoking just in vegas trying to have some fun i thought it all stayed here <laughs> right what's up with that and and also like in, uh, there's a McDonald's that is fully automated like this with the AI. You yeah. order through the screens. It makes the whole all the food is made by robots. Mm-hmm. It's bagged by robots. It's delivered by robots. And it does. You're right. It prevents a lot of disease transfer as well. So and I think you get better order. Uh, yeah, consistency right? with this too because you know language barriers, misunderstandings. Yes. Um, impatience whatever someone's rude you know so then intentionally you don't give them what they want Uh, you're eliminating some things yep you are eliminating human contact but only in that forum right which isn't always good human contact because sometimes those people are in a bad mood and then they make you you know be anxious or in a bad mood because they're you know snappy so yeah i i agree Um, The next one that people said about which of these bothers you about AI was it might make humans lazy. And you know what? There's accountability that's involved with this. So, yes, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things that have made us lazy. Our smartphones have absolutely made us lazy. Okay, can we? But but let's reverse really quick. Okay. Before we had, let's reverse in time. Before we had the, um, you know, the dark age and the industrial age and the golden age and all these (laughs) other ages. There was the Stone Age, yeah. all right, which means humans pretty much, if they weren't foraging for food, 
sitting around with family, maybe getting it on with their spouse. <laughs> they were sitting around. Right. Yeah. There weren't clocks to punch. No. There wasn't deliveries to fill. No, they had to, they had other things to do. But yeah, I know what do you mean. You know mean. what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. So that is a. They weren't lazy. That's a, a bad excuse or, or poor, I think, mm-hmm. of us to go. The only reason for us to not accept AI is because it will make humans lazy. Well, We're humans have had lazy. a lot less to do in life. Yep. In the past. So there's nothing. We're not used to in that area. If anything, yeah. we keep creating things to do. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because that's part of the experience is that as it was, it wasn't entertaining enough. Yeah. So now we've got to make things and build things, <laughs> and monuments and structures and, you know, put people in awe. And, yeah. You know, that's what we're here to do. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Because none of it's freaking real. <laughs> it's just, it's our mind. Yeah, it is. Having fun. Yep. Let's see what was the next one's consumer privacy. I can absolutely understand that, this as like an it. issue. Yeah, because really, it's like sometimes it creeps me out how much my phone knows about me. I'm like, mm-hmm. you know. Good morning, Samantha. <laughs> yeah, I can see you need coffee. Yeah, would you like me to go to McDonald's <laughs> for you and get it? Yeah, that'll be when AI will be great when I can send a robot to get my coffee. Amanda will need one for to hold her coffee, so she's not wearing it all the time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My sister does drop her coffee all the time. And I like to joke with her because they say, maybe that's the universe telling you, you shouldn't be drinking a large caramel macchiato. <laughs> oh, I love her. Okay. Me too. She's fun. Yeah. What else we got? Uh, lack of transparency. Yeah. It's like uh, the government going after TikTok for privacy. And you wonder, what do they know? Do they know things that we don't know? And that's why they're going after TikTok. Is there this like level of transparency that isn't available to us? You know, things well, like hell that. Yes, there's a level of transparency. It's not yes. transparency is not available to us. Yes. That's called confidential. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's called we don't need to know. Yeah. because They don't think we should. Uh, let's see. Then we had biased algorithms, which they do suck. You know, yeah. it's it's like if you open my TikTok right now, it's going to be all what's going on yeah. in Russia or this stupid submarine yeah. that I'm over talking about. <laughs> really? You know, I, I've been on TikTok. I don't know. Maybe a year. Has it been like a year? Mm-hmm, probably. Well, no, maybe. You, maybe longer. Yeah, longer. You talked about it to me for so long. <laughs> and I was like, I don't need no freaking TikTok, tacky tick, whatever, yeah. ticky tacky. <laughs> I got uh, Facebook and I got that Instaham or whatever they call that thing. Um, I don't need it. And so I, I, I held off for a long time. Yeah. And then I finally did it. And I was like, I can see why you're, yeah. you say it's addicting. However, I have, I, don't, I really don't like anything because I don't want to get pigeonholed and that fill my feed up. Mm-hmm. So if I don't like anything, then I get shown everything. See, that's not what happens to me. If I stop and watch a video. I'll get that then, for a then, little yeah. bit. Even if I don't like it. Like, yeah, it, then I keep getting the repetitive, the repetitive. So now what I have to do today, since it's all been like based on, on this stuff, mm-hmm. is I just have to go through and scroll and not like and not stop and let it like the algorithms readjust themselves. Right. Because, But it's very frustrating. That does happen to me, but it doesn't last long. Yeah. It'll go back to like seeing a lot of different stuff. Yeah, mine will too. But it's like still, it's like, okay, just because I'm watching videos on a few things doesn't mean that that's the only thing I want to see. Like yeah. I still want to see the other stuff that I always like to see, like the doggies and the Disney and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Don't don't stop showing me that. Right. Uh, let's see what else we had on here. I think that was that was all for that one. And then I asked, which AI application do you like the most? And um, the one that they said was Netflix and other streaming services. Most people didn't realize. I'm going to read this list. Most people didn't realize that these were uh, streaming or these were AI. So there's the streaming services was mm-hmm. number one. True. Number two was navigation system in the car. Number three was online shopping. Love online shopping. <laughs> uh, smartphones and tablets. Home security systems like Ring. Social media. Siri, Alexa, self-driving cars. 
electronic baking, robot vacuums. These are all things that I uh, that I put on there, and that's the order in which people said that they liked them. I love the robot vacuums. I don't use it in this house because we have, like, steps that drop down. And uh, What's funny about these things, though, some of this AI, is that I have a tendency to project human emotion on it. So, yeah. like, when the robot was going around and, like, he would get stuck, I'd be like, oh, no, I got to go get him. It's not a <laughs> him. It's a robot, you dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we do that, yeah. you know? But um, yeah, a lot of people didn't realize that these things are all involved in artificial intelligence. Mm. The the Netflix and the streaming services, they recommend to you what to watch. That's a part of the artificial intelligence right. there. When it does get to the point of like Terminator and I see like soldiers, robot soldiers walking around, mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to happen in my lifetime. No. But robot dogs, that's so. when I'd be a little bit like, okay, this is going to get scary. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, we don't know what their, their ability is to understand. Yeah. And then I look at just the, pow the sheer power of them. Yeah. And trying to take on one of those, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Um, if it was well designed. Yeah, I'm just like, eesh. However... You know, it's like, and how does that even, if you're going to, okay, we're going to now have a war, but we're no longer warring with humans. We're warring with robots. Right. Well, then that seems like the war would just go on forever. Right? Yeah. Isn't that kind of what happened in Terminator? The war just went on forever? Yeah. Because you just keep building robots. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Because humans aren't sacrificing anymore. No. Yeah, it's interesting. It'll be very interesting. You know, we'll obviously know from the other side what's going on. And well, since time, time is simultaneous, we'll probably even get to experience it again when right. we reincarnate. Probably. But it is very interesting to see how this is going in our lifetimes. And, and you know, when we were kids, I remember hearing, or even the Jetsons, you know, self-driving cars. That was like 2020, I think, that the Jetsons took place, somewhere mm -hmm. around that mm -hmm. area. Well, we don't have, well, we do, but we, they don't fly. You know, we don't have flying cars. We don't have a lot of this stuff, but we do have some of the things that they did predict in the Jetsons, like Zoom. I believe that we have like that. we have all that technology. I do too. Yeah, we, we just, just don't use it because of the way the world has been structured from early on in the industrial age. Mm -hmm. You have very large um, uh, corporations and industries that can rule it. Yeah. So, but basically, yeah, there's no reason why we couldn't have anti-gravity cars which means we have no need for roads yeah. and road upkeep and asphalt that's he yeah. heating our globe and wouldn't yeah. need any of it nope. wouldn't need bridges wouldn't need any of it nope it'll be interesting and we wouldn't need uh you know, we, there was all kinds of free energy that's another episode i think we should do soon is free energy free energy Everybody and why are all the people that are inventing free energy coming up dead yeah it is interesting because we have a sun that provides what we need and mm -hmm. somehow we can't work it out. But there's energy out there floating around you can't even see. No. Well, yeah. You know, which is exactly what Tesla was tapping into. Yeah. And a lot of these other people are coming up forward and saying, he's right. It's true. It's, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we can make mo magnet motors that run off no fuel. Mm -hmm. That was another guy that invented something and he's ended up dead. Yeah. So there's there's no need for we we should be at the Jetsons level. You're by right. Now. We should. We should be. Mm -hmm. And we could be. Yeah, but money. Money. If money talks, and and yeah. Yeah. It's that's what makes me so sad. Yeah. We but could. It'll be. change. Mm -hmm. It will. And we might come to a different point in another life to visit that period and see what that's like. Yep. You know. you know what we didn't talk about in the beginning that maybe we should talk more about next week, but I want to point out, and I don't even remember what it's called, but the Mother Earth's heartbeat has drastically changed. Yes, we should talk about I, yeah, that. Yeah, we'll talk about that next maybe week Maybe the beginning. More. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because Mother Earth's heartbeat has changed drastically, and this is not something that has happened like this no. th that we've seen. And it hasn't s changed back. No. It stayed this way. So yeah, they're kind of, the new, we're questioning whether is this is the Earth now moving into 5D, 5D, mm -hmm. fifth dimension. Yeah. So we'll have to talk about that more. It's like, it starts with an S, S-C-H-U-M, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting. If you haven't heard about it, you can look it up under, you know, just under that, under mm -hmm. the um, 
Mother Earth's heartbeat and it should come up for you. But yeah, it's very interesting. So we might be, you know, it made me think of that because you said we're moving into this time. Well, mm -hmm. we might be moving into this 5D time. There's been a lot of weird things that have been happening and it kind of seems like that's what's going on. So yeah, we'll have to talk more about that next yep. week. But we're out of time. Yay. Yay. Very cool. Yeah, fabulous. Well, that was fun. I, I like talking about this kind yeah. of stuff, you know, and hearing what our listeners have to say about it and stuff. Yeah, like thanks that. for your input, everybody. Yes, thank you. We love our discussion group. They're great. Fabulous. Very cool. Yeah. Something I didn't share at the beginning, which I'll share really quick, and I've um, Samantha stumbled across this for me over the last couple of weeks and booked it for me for oh. as a birthday gift. Yeah. It was a quantum healing um, life regression hip hypnosis therapy session yeah um so this is based on we talk a lot about dolores cannon this is based on her work what she does yes and so samantha got me a session with somebody that actually studies her curriculum and is doing this course and i am going to go through the process yes tomorrow tomorrow yes. i'm so excited i'm a little nervous but i'm more excited I'm so excited for you than anything because i told her a long time ago i really want to mm -hmm. do this i feel like this is a time for me that I've been pushing myself to change some things about me, mm -hmm. you know, and obviously you've heard that I give up the nicotine, but some, I know there's internal things and I want deeper answers, Yeah, you know, of why I am the way I am. And is there any way to do anything about certain things? Yeah. You know? Yeah. We'll so. talk about that. Maybe we'll make that our topic next week, depending yeah. on, you know, well, I will goes. share whatever yeah. experience it was. And even if it takes up the whole hour, it doesn't. Yeah. Just let you know. It's worth talking about. I have been hypnotized before with a famous lady named Pat Collins who used to do for years in the 60s all the way up to uh, late 80s and 90s. Um, and it was uh, quite the experience. Yeah. I saw her twice, once just as a, as a spectator in the audience. The second time I thought... I'm going to be the wise ass Danny Jones that no most people would know, and I'm going to get up there. I'm going to prove this lady's a phony. Yeah. And she sent me back to my table so hypnotized. Uh, just as a real quick yeah. story is that there's 12 people that are brought on stage, and she little by little gets rid of everybody until she's left with the last person that is the most hypnotized, <laughs> which happened to be yours truly. Shocking. Um, and I did things that I know I could never do physically, yeah. uh, and would never do. If I was not. So yeah. I know I can be hypnotized. That's why I'm really looking forward yeah. to this experience because I know I will go under and it will be good. It'll be cool. So I'm really Can't happy. wait to hear Thank about it. Thank you for it. doing that. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll share. Yes, for sure. That's it for me. Yeah. Well, we hope everybody got something out of this. That we do. And uh, did we share our information? Y yes. We did? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to really quick? <laughs> I forgot. I don't know. And I'm on most days. I'm All like, right. did I share my information again? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Samantha Jones, psychicmedium.com. You can find right. everything there. <laughs> and then you, sir. Yeah, djonesartcollection.com for the web, at djonesartcollection for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If we did this twice, sorry. Yeah. We mm -hmm. just have bad memories. We do. Anyways, um, we hope you guys got something out of this this week. Yes. Um, and go out there and make friends with your local artificial intelligence officer. Yeah. Amazon Prime <laughs> grocery stores are another one. Yeah, I they're love awesome. Those. That's Amazon great. Fresh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. All right. Well, we hope everybody has a great week. That we do. Until next week. Peace, Peace and love. love.